Shut up and sit down. Hey y'all, this is Wade coming at you from the Illust Vapor World Famous Workshop. I know, right? Uh, so, we just picked up something really cool. If you like to drip, but you don't like building a coil, and you don't like all that other stuff, you don't even like doing the mash, you just want to change it and go on about your day, Vandy Vapes came out with The Maze. It's got a stovetop coil. It's really cool. Um, I'm really liking it. Uh, so, here it is. Comes in a little box like that. From Vandy Vapes. Just like that. Comes with two coils, but I used one. Whoops. Well, there you go. Comes in two coils, one in here. It looks like that. So, that's the coil. That's the dripper. The top comes off. You've got holes all the way around it. And it's got airflow that lines up with the holes all the way around it. And then inside, it has a well, which is really cool. And I'll show you what the well does here in a minute. So if you open it up, now it's squonk ready. It comes with the pin already in it, so it's a squonk dripper. Um, if you don't like that and you just want to drip on it, it comes with a whole bag of stuff, just like all the Vandy Vape stuff. Um, it comes with a pin to make it a regular dripper. It also has um, the center, this, this center pin here right here replaces with the pin that's in here if you're going to use it as a regular dripper but it comes pre-set up as a squonk dripper which is pretty cool I mean that's basically where everybody's going at least that's where I'm going I'm so tired of having a bottle drip 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 now I'm going to use it on my box our 3d printed box that we make and I'm using my favorite AWT battery 3500 ma. 35 continuous amp and you can see the bottle is like a little empty I'm gonna fill it up before we start because there's two different ways this well works so we do when you fill it up is last time I did this you couldn't see it so this time I'm gonna make it so you can see it screw on the bottle you squeeze the bottle see the juice filling tip it up sucks the air out Squeeze it again, tip it up, sucks the air out, and the bottle is, one more time real quick, bottle's full. So, fill my tank up that fast, that easy, with a squonk, squonk fill bottle, silicone fill bottle, pretty awesome, I really love them. So that's how that works, see now my bottle's full. And, we'll put the cover back on. Incidentally, this changes purple in the sunlight. Just a little side note. Now, I'm going to take the base to this dripper. And this, remember, this has a squonk base in it. Or the squonk pin set in it already. Because I'm not doing dripping anymore. Just not doing it. So, you screw this on. Now, there's two ways you can fill this well. You can either squeeze from the bottle and fill the well and the well is about I want to say about maybe two mil maybe a little bit more it holds so if you do that from your bottle you're gonna lose two mil out of your tank out of your bottle so what I like to do is I like to take my bottle I'm not gonna be able to show you this uh, maybe I can Let's see if I can do this I'm not very coordinated uh, yeah, I think you can see. So I take my bottle, and what I do is fill up the well to right about there, which is just below the rim of the dripper. Okay? That's all cool, right? So now you've got an extra 2 milliduce liquid in your dripper well. Take this coil, and it threads on in the middle. Now it seals in the middle, and it seals on the edges, regardless if there's a gasket or not. Uh, somehow, I'm not really sure I haven't figured that out yet. But it does seem to seal, and it creates a vacuum inside. And here's the really, really cool thing about the vacuum. Is it actually 
draws liquid out of my squonk bottle as I vape. I don't ever have to. Maybe in the week that I've been using it, the dripper, I've had to push the squonk button maybe twice. Maybe three times. I have the bottle, squeeze the bottle maybe three times. Um, but that's it. But the rest of the time, it's when it gets down to about here, that's, you know, real low, then sometimes you got to squeeze it. That, those are the times I've had to squeeze it once or twice, not very often. But it literally is drawing liquid as I vape out of my bottle and into this well. And it's keeping this well full. So it somehow they made it act like a tank. I don't know if it's the draw from you drawing on it or if it's just the liquid pulling a vacuum inside the tank, inside the bottle. I think that's what it is, but either way. So now you can either drip on the top or you can just tip it. I usually just kind of give it a little squeeze in my bottle. Until I see the liquid come up. You can't really tell what's going on there. But I can see I can see the coil is changing color, is getting wet like you would there it goes. So now I'm just pushing the liquid up through the coil to make sure the whole coil is wet. And it's wet. So then you let it go. And I'll draw it down, draw it down, it's still drawing it down. So now the coil is good and wet. Now here's the the only little downside for me um, is that since it is a stove top, and I got around, I got over this. When you put a brand new coil in there and it's really wet, it's going to pop a little uh, at first for a little bit until the coil, you know, starts doing working right. Um, if that makes any sense. So we got it all together. It's literally that easy. I mean, it, 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 now that the, the well is full, all I got to do is change the coil. I screw the coil on, squeeze it a little, coil, it's wet, and I'm off vaping. So let's give it a try. Oof. And the flavor is amazing. It's an awesome gripper. It really is. And that's on a single battery. This will work even better on a regulated or a double double battery squonk box or dripper whatever you want to do but um, either way it'll work it'll work really well on either one of those it works pretty good on my single battery for a long time like I've been using it pretty much all day I just changed the battery before I did the video but I've been using it since like I don't know 10 o'clock this morning with the same battery and it's really not dead I mean I put it in this box with the other Vandy Vapes mesh stripper that I use and in this battery I've been using all day and it's still good just it doesn't have really the power to push a 0.2 ohm coil now the only coil that's available for these is a 0.2 ohm but it's an awesome coil it's an awesome dripper if you're into squonk boxes or you're wanting to get into squonk boxes, but you don't want all the hassle of changing coils or even changing a mesh and cotton, this is a great way to go. Um, Vandy Vapes hasn't struck out yet as far as we're concerned. Even their rebuildable tank never leaks. We've had one built for like two months that people try, and it, it just sits there on the shelf, and it doesn't leak. So uh, I'm, I'm a big, huge fan of Vandy Vapes. So if you're looking for a really easy-to-do squonk, squonk rip, or just a dripper on your dripper this is the way to go the Vandy Vapes Maze awesome awesome dripper uh, we sell it $34.99 you can't go wrong so it comes in gold with a yellow cap pretty cool looking dripper silver with green it's got a little red and stuff in there flat black with a red tip and the rainbow with a blue tip. Pretty badass, right? So come in and check it out. If you want to check one out, we'll probably have one set up or I'll be here, or whatever. But um but come in to Eulis Vapor and check them out. $34.99. Dandy Vapes Maze. Awesome. Awesome.